the the video of the morning, man. Oh, the horse. Now the uh, New the, this New Orleans clip is uh, the greatest thing ever to come out of New Orleans in uh, well a couple of weeks anyway. Uh, I guess they're back to business as usual. Oh yeah. Hey, New Orleans, welcome back to the country. You're back. You made it. You got through this uh, event, and we're back to showing clips of cops just beating the shit out of some black guy on uh, Bourbon Street or whatever <laughs> down there. I love how the horse backed up. So oh, the, the horse's job and that whole thing was to block the camera view. Make sure sometime uh, today you get to see this video. It's it's pretty amazing. This guy was, uh, I guess, 62, 64 years old. I want to say 64, yeah. 64, oh, and they beat this guy because like he took the video? And, uh, yeah. And he wasn't he wasn't submitting to the cuffing. Now, at that point, I don't understand this. Patrice, maybe you can help me out with this one. Go ahead. Man. Why do the black guys? I know the drunk white guys do it out of the trailer homes and shit, but it's usually the black guys you see on cops. Why don't they just put their hands behind their back and get cuffed? Because you feel like, look, man. You, you, oh God! Look at the look at the horse. Hey, you nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing to see here. It's just a big horse. The cops just behind the horse. The cop is just tuning him up, and all of a sudden the horse backs up. Backs up. You don't see shit. You, and you, you can hear white. From, you can hear white like exclusion of this incident as stress. Watch this. Oh, yeah, they have uh, been under a lot of pressure. A lot of these people lost their homes. They're stressed out and damp, so they get to beat <laughs> everybody. It's, uh, but I see it happen. I see what, what like after a car chase or something, the black guy goes running. The cops grab him, and the guy doesn't want to put his hand. And they beat the shit out of him. They're pulling on his arm. They're clubbing him. Why not just go, you got me. Here's my arms. They're behind my back. Well, spoken like a true never been under arrest guy in his life. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, Mr. Learning yeah. about cops on television. Because <laughs> they're hurting you. Can I tell if, you about my experience? Can, can of getting... I walk, if I'm walking you into the movie theater, but I'm pinching your face, won't you resist? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sweetie, as I'm jabbing you with a, uh, a sharp pencil. <laughs> it, it, the cops are horrible like but that. But why are they hurting you to start with? Because they ran after you. Like, I can understand if I chase you and I got you. Yeah. It's just like, I guess it's like like if I go and have sex with a girl, uh -huh. and you've been trying to have sex with her a long time, and finally. And then the sex is not going to be like lovemaking. It's going to be like, it took you this long. <laughs> it's going to be a fucking whack. whack. <laughs> and that's what the cops, they chased you, and now they're going to They're, they're pissed off. <laughs> they're pissed off a little they bit. Fucking they, did, brain they need to take it out on you just a little bit. It's just, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I was arrested one time, and uh, uh, it was because I had a suspended license, and uh, I got pulled over, and uh, the guy took me in. But... Um, when was this? I this was many many years ago. I believe 1983. If I could be a, a little date here. Well, that's when they just found out Italians were like uh, had a little black in them. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they, they, he should have done they something. Weren't sure, the government wasn't sure if you were black or white. So just, <laughs> at that time, they were, <laughs> they were a little bit closed minded. Well, <laughs> I got to tell you my experience with the police. Uh, uh, when I got I got pulled over, I give my license. He comes back. He goes, you know, there's a warrant for your arrest. Because uh, you, you had a ticket, you didn't pay it, your license is suspended, I'm going to have to uh, bring it down. So I went, okay. I locked up my car. I sat in the front seat, unhandcuffed with the officer <laughs> for the drive down to the precinct. <laughs> he sat me at the desk. I filled out some paperwork. And they let me go. <laughs> that was my only arrest ever. Patrice has given you the look of death. I sat in the front. People that passed by in the car... Thought I it was the cop was it was take your son to work day. <laughs> That's how pleasant it was. I had both hands free to uh, I could have grabbed the shotgun if I wanted. People they don't even to... have videotapes when white guys are getting arrested. No. It's like ah, nothing. Did you get to play with the siren on the way to the? <laughs> I was like, could you just you know? <laughs> I think he did make a joke. He he pulled out his his club because they don't drive with it. Uh, he pulled it out and put it in a little holder. He goes, hey, if you get out of hand, beat yourself with this. As you were, that, He actually said that. As you were waiting for Mommy to pick you up at the precinct? Mommy, did, I'm arrested. Did you get to wear his uh, hat? His I hat. wore the hat, and I <laughs> licked an ice cream cone as I waited, <laughs> waited for, for Sal to come to bail me out. I think my bail was uh, $20. That's nice. And Sal had to come down and, and pay 20 bucks because I didn't even have Patrice, that on can me. you relate to that? In... Not even a drop. <laughs> <laughs>
My mother used to beat me going to school. Like that, my mother would would, would abuse me. Like, like anytime I was in the back of any car, it was abuse. <laughs> there was some kind of abuse happening. <laughs> Someone poking me with something. But that's the only relationship I have with. Uh, that's oh, the only way nice. I could relate to being arrested. Uh, Never this. <laughs> the taser. <laughs> you ever been tased? No, nah, man. I probably would die, man. My heart ain't. Yeah, man. you wouldn't be able to take I'd it. I would die, man. I, wanna, I don't resist paid. cops either. Man. No. I, I, I try to get that verbal thing down where I can get under. Just get everyone. Skin. People's skin. I, oh, I really you try do to that, practice. though? Yeah, I really try to be. And, I, and one thing I never did was yell out the law. I learned that because uh, one growing up, I saw yeah. this dude. He's like. In the bylaws of, you know, as black dudes, oh, you scream no. at cops the law. Let me tell you something. Chapter 12. Yeah. <laughs> Paragraph 8. I have the right to look you in your eyes. It's like, ah, you're going to get your face blown off. <laughs> so I, ne- I learned early not to yell the law to police. Yeah, they know it well enough. Let and- me tell you something. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> chapter 648 <laughs> under the Constitutional uh, Amendment of Law uh, says this, sucker. Yeah, bam, right in the fucking kneecap with the club. I have the right to stand in my own space. But you don't know that there's a law that gets, there's, the cops have a thing that gets around any law that you think you know. Yeah. It's called disorderly conduct. And all you have to do is disobey a cop's order to move. Right. And that it cancels out all like, I have the right to look mm-hmm. around. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, you disorderly don't. Disorderly con- Sir, move. I, let me tell you something, sucker. <laughs> Over. And later on, the charge will be dropped, and you'll get out. But for that moment, you are getting arrested, you're and you're going arrested. to jail. You, you have yeah. to obey police for some goofy reason. You can't, even, you can't question, but you can't ask questions. But it's like when they tell you to move, if there's yeah. something going on, that's disorderly conduct. Then you got to Right look. there. I just don't understand the whole car thing. I, I, I don't – like, I, I just – I guess in my whole life, I'd never driven with a black person at the wheel. <clears throat> I never have, Patrice. Maybe Why? we should go out and drive so I could get a little more experience. I just never have. Patrice, I, I drove with Patrice once. How was that? It was nice. He's Did you get pulled old, over? No, nah, he's got a big old car. Yeah? He's got to move the seat all the way back. <laughs> he's, pretty much, he's pretty much sitting in the back seat as he drives his own car. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's amazing. And you can see Opie was a little uncomfortable. He started yeah. to get a little more comfortable after a while. Well, you can see he was absorbing the whole, <laughs> soaking it in. I was in the passenger seat in the front, but I had to turn all the way to the back to talk to Patrice. Like, That's the strangest thing. I, if I ever get pulled over, and I do a lot. I get pulled over a lot. In New I, York? Yeah. I speed. I pay no attention to rules, to signs, to things. I go point A, point B. I'm getting there. I don't care how, what I got to do. I find that New York City cops don't pull you over often, man. They don't a lot, but it, some of the shit I do is really stupid. Like, I'll drive on a fucking <clears throat> sidewalk. I've done it. In, I've, in the city? Yeah. Yeah, I was going through Queens just the other day. Uh, I got over the bridge, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm trying to get onto the uh, road that goes to the entrance ramp to the expressway. And the tractor trailer decided he's going to try to turn from the under the expressway uh, overpass in Queens and couldn't make the turn. Now he can't back up because there's cars that were right on the, the truck's ass. Right. The truck is stuck blocking every lane of traffic to cars <clears throat> trying to get to the expressway. What would you do? I looked, I saw there was one parking space open uh, that uh, revealed the curb and the sidewalk to me. <laughs> so <clears throat> I popped the curb. I've been in the car with Anthony. This, I've seen him uh, take the curb many yeah. times. And I drove on the sidewalk <laughs> for about, I don't know, uh, two, <clears throat> no, about, about a block until I could get around the truck back onto the road. But then I had to find another open parking space to get back onto the street, and that took me a little further than the truck. So I'm just driving down the sidewalk. And then I pop back on, and that's it. You know, <clears throat> somebody knows about Anthony, like, over these few years I've known you guys. Yeah. When you see pictures of you guys, Anthony looks like like a disturbed guy, like, you know, like <laughs> one of these sociopaths, right? Yeah. But you know what? He's really an outraged white guy. Like, I, I never realized... <laughs> It was one dad came in. He was he was complaining about uh, computers and no one was customer servicing him. And yeah. I was like, uh, you know, and to, to this am. story, you're just like an outrage. You're, you're like, right. I, 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 I shouldn't have to. Officer, I'm driving. 
How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, Anthony Williams is outraged. Like, you are right. I am an outraged white guy. <laughs> you are really and I don't even look the part. An You're right. entitled guy. I didn't realize. Like, you <laughs> look like, like Anthony, guy. let's go, man. Let's get out of here. Let's rob this bank real quick. Come yeah. on. Why, why would you? <laughs> why, 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 I have my assets are in this very establishment. Patrice. Why would I want to disturb... Harumph, harumph, harumph. That really wasn't an entitled story. Yeah, yeah. I drove up on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Because I, that, uh, it, for, he for, qualified it with the tractor trailer blocking up progress. Why, why, why. <laughs> I have things to do, people to see. I pay you taxes to widen the highway. <laughs> this should be more highway and not sidewalk. Why, 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 You are so fucking right. Oh, my God, he is right. He looks nuts. He it, looks nuts. Yeah, he, I look like a lunatic. You do you're tell right. like you're entitled. To, to, to You're right. On the sidewalk. Oh. I got, uh, I got, I got a ticket in uh, in Philly when we were in Philly. Mm-hmm. I'm driving. I don't know the area or or shit, and uh, I try to go around a bunch of traffic. There was a shitload of traffic, and I notice one of these lanes are open. And I'm like, why is this lane open? So I get in it, and then I realize why it's open, because it's a turn only lane. But I I don't want to turn. I want to go straight. You can't go straight. It's one way. But I notice this halfway through the intersection. Now I can't turn. I can't go straight because uh, it's it's one way. So I turn into the corner of the intersection and go <clears throat> between two a uh, telephone pole and a sign <laughs> over a curb into a 7-Eleven parking lot and park like I'm getting a fucking Slurpee because there's a cop right in the parking lot. And I'm like, now I got to park. I can't just keep going. Now I got to park and I get out. Like I'm going into 7-Eleven. And the cop goes, excuse me, hello. <laughs> and I point at 7-Eleven like, yeah, I'm just getting something. Just, I realized at the last just minute. You insulted that cop. You can't do that right now. Oh, I final. know. He has no choice at that, 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 that t- uh, moment. And he wrote me up for uh, uninspected. Because <clears throat> that's what I had. Oh, because you're white. Didn't give me the rest of the tickets. I'm learning how to like cops, though. I'm, I'm not as angry at cops as I yeah. used to be. Uh, you got to be. Now, here's the, what the whole thing I was getting to is here's what you got to do, though, when you get pulled over. Is be nice. You, I, if it's nighttime, boom, the dome light goes right on. I open up the glove, get out all my shit right away, and then I sit there with my uh, the window down, both hands on the steering wheel, dome light on, dome light on, and he walks up and it, it puts him at ease. <clears throat> and then it's yes sir, here sir, everything sir. Sir, sir, they come sir, back, sir. no problems, nothing. But that's that's white guy technique. Black guy technique, I think the best way to be is com- a, a complete. Ass like <laughs> like sarcastic, as if to go. I ain't do nothing wrong without saying I ain't do nothing wrong, sucker. It's more like ah, uh, you roll the window down just a crack. Uh, well, <laughs> crack. What's going on, big man? Call him chief. <laughs> just, just call him chief. You, just to say, I that if you arrest me. I'm not going to resist, but if you arrest me, it's because it, this is going to be racist because I'm not doing anything wrong. All my stuff is is good. And, like, you know, the thing about it, though, I'm living in Jersey City or being doing comedy gets you to meet a lot of guys. I got I got a lot of PBA cards, man. And yeah, I, yeah. I got, like, not even PBA. I got, you like, got the, you got the shit, the, fed, the, 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 the officers of the world one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I stopped that whole police. Ah! I pull it out. I'm very... I'm, Entitled now too. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, well, I got one of these. I, give him a, I, give him a, uh-huh. I have the two fingered look away. Give. <laughs> Take that with you. <laughs> Take a look at that. I'm important. <laughs> if that helps me out a little bit, that's, that's great. I always saw casting the uh, cops a little uh, bit when I think it's yeah. Something, you know. All right. I've always just had the fear of God in me when police are involved, and never ever gave them a hard time. I got pulled over once on the LIE with a case of beer. On the passenger seat, <laughs> with four of them missing. <laughs> now, he, he knows who was drinking the beers. <laughs> it's not like I bought a case with four. Uh, you know, could I take a case less four? Maybe you're just giving them to the toll takers. <laughs> like, he knows I drank four beers, and I'm driving this fucking car. And, and you called him Officer. Officer. <laughs> and, and he made me, he made me uh, uh, blow the breathalyzer. And uh, he looked, and it had shown I had enough. I had been drinking, but I hadn't uh, enough in me to to arrest me. But he said, "You know, I can have you sit here longer to see if you would just finish those, and have you blow this again in like 20 minutes." He goes, "But 
I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you go. Just be careful driving. And meanwhile, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue drinking. I was going to ask you, did you crack the next it's one over? Right number five. Number five. Here I was on my way to the boat. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm going to be drinking. 